Welcome to History Uncovered, where we delve into the stories and events that have shaped our world. If you're a fan of history and love learning about the people and events that have shaped our world, then be sure to hit that subscribe button below. We release new videos every day so you'll always have something new to discover. By subscribing, you'll be the first to know when our latest episodes are released, and you'll be supporting us in our mission to bring fascinating stories from the past to a wider audience. In this episode, we turn our focus to the east, into the heart of ancient Japan. We explore the extraordinary life of one of Japan's most renowned female samurai, Tomo Guzan. Her story begins in the late Heian period, a time known for its refined court culture, but also for its violent clashes between samurai clans. The Heian period, spanning from 794 to 1185, was a time when warriors, like Tomo Guzan, played significant roles in shaping the trajectory of Japan's history. Born into the Minamoto clan, one of the most powerful samurai clans, Tomo was not your typical woman of the Heian period. Most women of her time were confined to their homes, engaged in domestic tasks or navigating the subtleties of court life. Tomo, however, was different. She possessed exceptional skill in the martial arts and was known for her bravery and strength, traits admired in any samurai, male or female. Descriptions of Tomo depict her as a striking figure with a beautiful face, which often misled her opponents to underestimate her. But make no mistake, she was as fierce and deadly as any warrior on the battlefield. According to the tale of the Haika, one of the major epic narratives of Japan, Tomo was especially beautiful, with white skin, long hair, and charming features. She was also a remarkably strong archer, and as a swordswoman she was a warrior worth a thousand, ready to confront a demon or a god, mounted or on foot. Tomo was the favorite concubine of Minamoto no Yashinaka, a prominent general of the Minamoto clan. It's said that he relied heavily on her counsel, both on and off the battlefield. She was no ornament but an integral part of Yashinaka's force, frequently leading his troops into battle. The Genpei War, a five-year war from 1180 to 1185 that ended the Heian period and led to the establishment of the Kamakura Shogunate, was a defining time in Tomo's life. The war was a battle for power between the Minamoto and Terra clans, and it was here where Tomo's prowess truly shone. Tomo fought in the Battle of Owazu in 1184, one of the critical battles of the Genpei War. Despite being heavily outnumbered, the Minamoto forces, under the command of Yashinaka, refused to back down. It is said that Yashinaka, seeing the desperate situation, asked Tomo to leave the battlefield, fearing that his death might lead to her capture. However, Tomo, driven by the samurai's unyielding spirit, insisted on staying and fighting until the end. She single-handedly charged into a group of thirty terror warriors, killing several of them, and even took down a formidable opponent, Morishij, a strong and well-respected warrior of the Terra clan. Her courage and skill at this battle further cemented her status as one of the greatest female warriors in Japanese history. The details of Tomo's life after the Battle of Owazu remain shrouded in mystery. Some sources say she obeyed Yashinaka's last command and retired from the battlefield, marrying and leading a quiet life afterwards. Others claim she refused to leave the battlefield and died fighting. Regardless of her end, Tomo Guzan's impact is undeniable. Over the centuries, her legend has grown, becoming a symbol of female empowerment and courage in Japanese culture. Her legacy challenges the traditional narrative that samurais were exclusively male, shattering long-held stereotypes and offering a different perspective on Japan's feudal era. Today, her name resonates with a sense of awe and respect for her unparalleled bravery and skill in a time and society dominated by men. One cannot talk about Tomo without mentioning the cultural depictions that have kept her memory alive. She appears in numerous works of literature, drama, and even contemporary manga and anime. In many ways, these narratives have added layers of mythology to her life, embellishing her feats and adding to the mystique of her persona. Tomo's life has been the subject of several Jidaijiki films, a genre of period drama in Japanese cinema that often focuses on samurai stories. These films have painted vivid and stirring portraits of her, some drawing heavily from historical texts while others take creative liberties. 
Each depiction, however, echoes the fundamental elements of her personality fearless, skilled, and defying norms. She's also a popular figure in Kabuki, a classical Japanese dance drama. Her character has often been portrayed performing Takamawari, a stylized fight sequence common in Kabuki. These performances typically highlight her martial prowess and the daunting presence she must have commanded on the battlefield. The legacy of Tomo Guzan stretches far beyond the realm of traditional Japanese culture. She has also found a place in the modern world of video games, like the popular game Nio, where players can engage with her character in the fantastical landscape of Sengoku era Japan. One might wonder, why does the story of Tomo Guzan, a female samurai from over a millennium ago, still resonate today? The answer lies in her timeless embodiment of resilience, bravery, and defiance of social norms. She serves as a symbol of empowerment, a reminder that individuals, regardless of their gender, are capable of extraordinary feats. In a world still grappling with gender stereotypes and expectations, Tomo's story is as relevant today as it was in the 12th century. It's also worth noting how her story reveals the rich and complex tapestry of Japanese history. Her tale is an invitation to delve deeper into the tumultuous Heian period, the Genpei War, and the rise of the samurai class. Understanding Tomo's life offers a unique window into this crucial era of Japan's past. In conclusion, the story of Tomo Guzan is a blend of history and legend, a tale of courage and defiance that has stood the test of time. It encourages us to question and redefine the boundaries of what individuals are capable of, irrespective of their gender. It's a testament to the extraordinary feats one can achieve when they break free from the chains of societal norms. We hope this journey into the life of Tomo Guzan has provided a glimpse into a chapter of history often overshadowed by the grand narratives of kings and emperors. Her story invites us to look beyond the mainstream, to seek out the hidden, the forgotten, and the extraordinary. Thank you for watching this episode of History Uncovered. If you found this video informative and engaging, please like and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating stories from the past. And don't forget to ring the bell for notifications so that you never miss a new video.